Welcome to another teachable moment for football officials. And we have in this edition, we have uh, we have a twofer. So um, the first the first thing we're going to talk about is the wing uh, here at the at the at the bottom of the screen. He's going to end with uh, two receivers off the line of scrimmage, and he does this little um, special move that indicates to its to his body across the field that I actually have two. So he's he's signaling. Um, with his with his hand one two I've got two in the backfield and then he takes his arm down because I know these wings say that if the other guy uh, acknowledges the signal then they can take the arm down they don't have to keep it up until the ball is snapped and as long as as they are in control across the line of scrimmage uh, of the formation then I'm actually I'm fine with that uh, in my book they don't have to keep the signal up. Now, if somebody shifts a move, then they have to start um, signaling again. So that was part of one. Part two is, uh, this is going to be a long pass down to the pylon. Have a look at the deep wing, because this is going to be very, very tight score or no score. So what he does here is very good. He's going to signal touchdown. He stops the clock here, as you'll notice. And then he looks back. Uh, to see if the wing has him out, which he does. So instead of coming up with a touchdown signal right now, and then we have to, uh, then we have to abort it because the wing has the guy out of bounds. Just do a quick little signal down. Do you have him out of bounds? And the fact that the wing is coming down with such force, killing the clock, indicates to the deep wing that yes, I do. I have him out, which takes the deep wing off of the touchdown signal. So very, very good call here, and here you go with the wing. Now, you could argue that the sideline uh, inside the last two yards belongs to the deep wing, and you would be correct. Uh, but, you know, this is a very, very tough call close to the pylon, and, and, uh, and the fact that the wing has the sideline all the way to the pylon uh, in any case, we get the, cl the, the call right, and we get communication uh, that works well. Uh, so could the deep wing have had uh, the runner out of bounds at the B1? Yes, absolutely he could. But the main thing is we avoided having a touchdown signal negated by the wing coming down and having him out of bounds. And that was it for this edition of the Bite Size Training Tape. So as always, thank you for watching.